Hallelujah! <laughs> Disastrous reviews from conservatives, even. They but go back a couple of years, members, and the tapes might surprise you. This unfunded liability that we're facing right now is going to affect every education budget until we get our hands around it. That's Sarah Palin, Palin tackling, tackling Alaska's there. pension plan Alaska shortfall months, in one of one two one dozen one debates one when she ran for governor. And inherent in that constitutional amendment, I believe, was um, the reference also to benefits. From same-sex benefits to education to energy policy, Palin's answers were polished and she had some zingers. Why should the public trust you to negotiate a gas line? Tony, there you go again. We discussed this yesterday. I kind of set you straight yesterday. We'll do it again today. Tony, I haven't had a private jet to be able to bum from uh, one of my lobbyist friends to zip all over the state and meet and reach every single constituency group that you have. But even then, opponents questioned her preparedness. You show up for debates ill-informed. You carry notes with you. And it's not wrong to carry notes. I mean, nobody's, you know, the smartest guy in the room. But when the notes consistently say nothing, I think there's an issue there. You had made a comment that oil was at $58 a barrel. I said it was at 53. In fact, oil was at 53. Well, on Sunday, uh, I had looked it up and uh, oil was 58, Andrew. So, you know, I assumed and I shouldn't have assumed, uh, assumed huge mistake. The Bush administration's policy